Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Pilgrims Podcast. My name is David Schultz. Thanks for joining me today. And the title of today's episode is The Piggy Bank. In light of the economic situation that the world finds itself in today, I think it's important to note that for every economic action taken at the macro state level, it always finds its application on the micro individual level. So let's say, for example, if a nation decides that it can print its way back into prosperity, the parallel is going to be by, you know, on the individual level, looking at a person who decides that they can borrow, let's say, more money in the face of an enormous amount of debt that's already registered to their name. So in order to illustrate this, let's, let's tell a story here. Porky the Pig first borrowed a meager sum of money from your typical lender. Porky went to the piggy bank, as all responsible pigs do. However, Porky spent the money on things that he did not intend to spend the money on and was unable to pay back the borrowed sum, even at the low interest rate, let's say of 5%, those the good old days, that the reputable lender typically provides. Because Porky's lifestyle continued the same as it always had, he consumed, consumed, and consumed. He needed to borrow more money. Well, the reputable lender offered Porky another loan, but this time at a higher interest rate because, well, Porky was more of a risk now. Of course, Porky took the loan. As Porky used the money to pay for things he wanted, he found he started to have to use, the, let's say, the money for things that he not only wanted, now he also had to use it for the things he needed. Porky was unable to pay back the lower interest rate of 5%, so he used the higher interest rate loan at 19% to pay it down. That seems responsible, right? Well, let's continue. Porky's job at the mud pits did not bring in enough to make the payment for his weekly and monthly expenses due to higher interest he was paying on his most recent loan. So what's a pig to do? Well, he had to get a credit card at 26% interest rate in order to pay down for his, let's say, weekly expenses now. Uh-oh. Porky's sick. He had to go to the hospital to get his stomach pumped. He, he got into a vat of, uh, let's say, fat and ate it all. Poor Porky. He thought his insurance would cover most of his hospital bills, but he didn't realize he had a really large deductible. Now he has more debt that he has to pay off, or else those debt collectors will start calling. What's a pig to do? Well, max out your credit card, of course. At least it's a consolidated payment, though those, you know, that pesky interest rate. Time goes on, and Porky has some piglets with Miss Piggy, now Mrs. Piggy, they want a house next to the mud pits. Easy commute for the Pork family. Time to take out a mortgage. The good news, Porky has plenty of credit built up, and he's kept up with most of his payments. Plus, Mrs. Piggy's working. They have additional income now. This is this, It really works out great, and it does for a time. Their new house payment, along with the credit card payment and the higher interest loan payment on top of their daily, weekly, monthly expenses, they're all manageable. They can get through. Well, one day, the swine flu hits. Oh, no. One of the piglets is taken ill. They've got to go to the local urgent care to get him some medical attention. Turns out Porky's infected, too. And this ain't any old flu. It's the swine flu. It's a farm-demic. Every farm animal and his brother has this thing. Well, the farmer comes over to Porky and asks him to stay out of the mud pits for a while. That's okay, because... Porky isn't feeling well anyways, and Mrs. Piggy is taking care of the household, as she always does. She can continue her job at the mud pits while Porky recovers. She has a better position than Porky, anyhow. The news just came on. The farmer has to temporarily shut down the mud pit. What? How can they pay for their daily expenses, let alone their loans? This will only last for a short while. Well, they have some savings built up. But they'll have to immediately dip into that. With both Porky and Mrs. Piggy unable to get to work, Mrs. Piggy is getting anxious. Newsflash. All pigs must stay inside. The farmers just announced that due to this new swine flu outbreak, you are stuck in your little mortgaged houses near the mud pit. But you must stay inside also? 
This is a contagion, they say. Mrs. Piggy is worried. How will they bring in the funds to pay for their piggish lifestyle? The piglets, what about the poor piglets? Porky isn't worried. He never worries. He'll just get another loan. That will solve it. It always has before. So Porky calls the local piggy bank. But the piggy bank is closed? Well, they'll just open up a new credit card then. Remember, uh, Porky maxed out his credit cards recently to pay for those medical bills. A credit card doesn't work now because the banks are closed? News update. The local grocery chain is rationing your food. Food shortages are coming to the local area, so you need to be conscious of your neighbors, not just yourself. Don't be an ant, they say. Be a sheep, you pigs, and follow orders. Well, if that's the case, Porky and Mrs. Pig are really stuck in the mud, as they say. They have their pantry full now, but it's only going to last them for two to three weeks at most. Not much stored provisions either. They're pigs, of course. What can you expect? The farmer has announced layoffs at the mud pit. Oh, no. Well, surely their jobs are secure. First on the list, let's see. Porky? Mrs. Piggy? Out of a job. No income. Food. Clothes. Houses. Loan. It's all immediately piling up like a pigsty. The farmer, Mr. Wolf, used to threaten the pigs to come out of the house for work or he would blow it down. Well... He's now threatening the herd to stay in their houses. Strange request. The mud pit immediately becomes a dirt hole. There's no liquid to keep it moist. Pigs start asking Mr. Wolf and his wolf pack whether they can borrow more money to keep the mud pit open. No can do. That's what they did the last time with the bird flu. Lost a lot of chickens in that outbreak. All the pigs lose their jobs. All of them are in the same dire situation. They all have debts, and they all can't pay back anything. Mr. Wolf has a solution, though. As a farmer, he needs to open back up for business sooner than later. He's going to offer to pay the debts for all the pigs. Porky calls for Mrs. Piggy. Mrs. Piggy, come quickly. I just got a notice from Mr. Wolf. He says he will pay for all of our debts. It's a jubilee. Oh, my, how those pigs celebrated. They were certainly jubilant. But Porky missed the fine print. Let's see. Mrs. Piggy grabs the notice from him and says, oh, Hold on, what's this? To qualify for the jubilee, you must present only the following. And there was a silence, and Mrs. Piggy fell to the floor and fainted at the word. The full notice reads as follows. Mr. Wolf, on behalf of the entire wolf pack, invites all the pigs to the piggy bank to sign into law the Jubilee Act of 2025, where all debts have been forgiven. You can return to work as soon as you have signed. We can finally get back to normal. And the subprint here. To qualify for this Jubilee, you must present only the following. Bacon. Hey, thanks for listening to this podcast. If you like the Pilgrims podcast, please like it, share it, subscribe if you'd like, and uh, catch up with all of the updates that we'll be making as the podcast continues to develop and expand. Appreciate your time and God bless.